Elites, uh, today is, it's one of those days, one of the days that you never want to happen. This is, I always hate this part, uh, it's not a good day when you have to put your sweet new best friend, you, you, it's not, it's not a good day, Elites. All, all I can say is that Ian was not known by very many, N not many at all, but to those who knew Ian, Ian was great. Ian was my best friend. Ian, other than Pam, Ian was really, really important to me, and Ian, Ian's new home is gonna be right here. If you know, you know. Oh, man. Ian, why did you have to do that, Ian? We, we only just knew each other, Ian. Disappointed. Disappointed. Sad. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide Elite. So, hope you're doing well. It's me, your guy Waddles. Episode number 55, I think. Ah, uh, yes, yes, episode number 55. So, in today's episode, we're gonna build a squid farm, but I have to disclaim right away that I don't know if the squid farm actually works. So, uh, in the last stream, we were working on ocean monument related things, and then I had an idea to, to create a squid farm. Now, the squid farm is going to be a guardian powered squid farm. Aside from a guardian, we're going to need these supplies right here. Some glass panes, uh, some building blocks, a boat, some trap doors, a hopper, and then we're going to do like a bubble column and then just other building blocks and, you know, you know, stuff like that so we can get ink sacks automatically. Now, we want ink sacks automatically because Optifine is near. And I said when I built this thing way, 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 way back, long time ago, that once Optifine is out, we're going to take a look at the dome and see if it looks good with the connected textures. If I don't like it, then all of this glass is going to be turned to black stained glass to make black stained glass ink sacks. And I, I mean, I have a decent amount now, but really not a lot. So the squid farm would be really, really nice to have. But I did a little bit of research, haven't seen a squid farm quite like this one, and honestly, I don't know if this is going to work. In theory, it should. I don't see why it wouldn't, but I mean, I guess you never know. So today's episode is actually going to be a little bit different. Uh, like I said, don't know if this farm works. So you're going to get a bit of a behind the scenes look at what I go through when I'm designing and testing out a new farm. In a couple episodes time, I'll come back and let you guys know if the squid farm works, if it's actually worth building. I'm honestly not sure if it will be because, because I, I haven't built this anywhere, like not even in a creative world. This is literally the first time building this other than I uh, guess I like in my head I thought about it location 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 as of the update aquatic squid only spawn in certain types of water the water that they'll spawn in is water that is located in a river biome or an ocean biome now we don't have an ocean over here uh, but fortunately this right here is a river biome you can check the biome in the f3 screen this says river right here that's good now, uh, the river does need to be a natural one, not a man-made one. We made this river over here, if you can remember, and yeah, it's not a river biome. You need to find an actual river biome. For better rates, you'll probably want to find some sort of isolated river biome, something like this over here, meaning uh, we don't have a bunch of rivers around here. This is like the only river running through here, so that should be pretty good. Now, to beef up the rates even more, you could drain the rest of the river aside from where the farm is, but I'm not going to do that. That will destroy the environment and make it look terrible. I don't like that. I, I definitely don't like that. Not a fan. So it, it's just going to be what it is. Hopefully we get okay rates from it. So we're going to need some glass panes for this build. I think uh, blue glass panes would look pretty good. We'll also need some building blocks. I think uh, smooth stone building blocks will look pretty good on this build as well. Now, uh, basically, we will be employing a guardian at this farm to take the squid out for us. The guardian will do the dirty work. We will collect all of the profit and uh, things will be good. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll position a guardian probably in the air, which sounds weird, but in the air above the water here. And then the guardian should be able to, from its turret area, look at the squid, shoot them with its beam. Then the squid ink sacs will float up to the top of the water. Then uh, we'll actually move the ink sacs over to one side. So that's basically the plan. First, let's go ahead and start with this, uh, I guess, one side. What we're going to need to do is set up some sort of, oh no, oh no, that's the wrong pickaxe. Eventually, we'll have a guardian sitting over here in this river biome, and basically, we'll need to funnel all of the ink sack drops over to one single collection area. To make that happen, I think we could actually use uh, glass glass panes, which it sounds weird, but I, I think it'll work. So, first, let's go ahead and say uh, our farm can be, I think, like this long, maybe? I don't know. I'm just really picking a random amount here. That is, that's pretty long. We could have a guardian sitting right in the middle, and that should be, that, that should be pretty good. So, 
Now we're gonna need to actually get rid of some of this water on the other side. We need this farm to basically have a back. The back needs to be over here and there can't be water on the back side. So we'll go ahead and just terraform the land right up, fill all of this in, not a big deal. I have lots and lots of dirt now. So now we need to go ahead and basically do a bit of terraforming. We'll fill the land in all the way up to our smooth stone markers. All right, so now we have something that looks like this. Now we actually need to uh, undo a little bit of our work. We need to dig this water out and put glass panes in here to basically stop the water from flowing here. Eventually we'll have flowing water that starts over there and flows this way, pretty much this current right here. If we put a glass pane, say here, all of the items are going to flow and then drop just like that dirt did, which is exactly what we want. We need to flow our items over here, then we'll drop them down into basically a different water stream, I think, and move them over to a bubble column to move them up to the surface and then uh, we'll pick them up with a hopper pretty straightforward so basically glass panes need to go in here all the way down to the bed of the river which will actually uh, do we want to raise it I mean we could raise it one block but you, you know what? let's actually just go ahead and let's lower it all the way to this level right here so a flat bottom of this farm I don't think the bottom is going to affect things that much but I mean, eh, we might as well smooth things out, but I can tell you right away that I think we'll need to come back in here and plant some kelp because you can see things like gravel. Uh, that gravel's not going to float up because we, we have weird water situations. I think, yeah, those things are going to be trapped there. We'll need to come back and, or maybe not, maybe they're going up. I don't know. I, I'll plant kelp just to be sure. Now, the reason I went ahead and put a bunch of kelp at the bottom of this farm is to make sure we actually have water sources down there and not flowing water blocks. If items aren't flowing up to the top of the water here, they won't be funneled into our collection system and they'll never be picked up. They'll sit at the bottom of this farm and despawn eventually. Not good. But with water sources locked in down below this farm, now we can go ahead and finish getting our glass panes in. These glass panes are going to go from, uh, I think actually maybe one block past this spot here so from like there all the way down to the bottom of the river the riverbed so right down here lots and lots of glass panes on this build but it's okay it'll be worth it i think we could also actually use fence gates those should work or iron bars even but i think the glass panes will actually look a little bit better than those other options just to make things look nice uh, down here because uh, you know i'm kind of crazy about that we're gonna go ahead and switch the dirt and everything else out for sand too Ooh, that's gonna look really good maybe it'll at least look decent it's also going to be very important that these glass panes are not waterlogged so things now should look like this this is the tricky part we need to make the top level of water where the items will float up to basically flow all the way into this area over here so what i think we're gonna need to do is uh, first count out eight so one two three four five six seven eight there there's eight that would be the edge of the farm which i think is okay we could actually just terraform the land up this way that's that's cool uh then i think what we're gonna need to do i think here try, trying to think about this is basically make a platform in here going the length of the entire farm so from there all the way over to here but uh, this platform is only going to be temporary we'll remove it in a minute but i think i, I think this is going to be the way to to go i'm, I'm honestly not 100 percent sure uh, but um this is oh this is desert so nothing would even spawn there okay okay so the river doesn't even start till out here anyways yes 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 now i definitely don't feel bad about terraforming that away not a big deal at all hi squid we are going to be farming you buddy mm, salmon not you all right so the platform is in then we're gonna need to cut this area off from the outside uh water so we could go ahead and do i think just uh solid stone brick blocks like that 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 should be fine the squid might get caught on them a little bit which could be a problem but uh, the important part is cutting this water off from the outside so once we get our current going the this water doesn't flow in here and basically level everything out that would be definitely really really bad and not the point of the farm at all so we'll go ahead and do this again over here going to this side then uh, we need to think so we could do water sources right there just all flowing and that would be good do we want to just do things like that that's definitely the easy way to do things um 
thinking about it, I don't see a problem with that, which means we can just put a back set on this farm over here and call that good. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think here and figure out if that would be a problem. I don't see why it would. I think that'll be fine. I think it should be good. So, uh, let's see. On the back side of this build, let's go ahead and do things a little bit more fancy. Let's create a grid with stone and smooth stone, but not on the top layer. So, on the top layer, I think we'll just go straight across, but then all the way down to the, the riverbed, uh, we'll create the pattern. I think that'll add a nice little touch of detail. And this thing, that might just have to be relocated. This is the monorail line over to our old mob farm. I, I'm not going to get rid of the monorail, but the support might just have to go because it's sort of in the way. I don't think it should be cutting through this farm. But uh, now the cool thing. So stone, smooth stone. 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 Gamers, do you know? Do you know what time it is? It's definitely sponge time. So we're over here in the nether to show off this little trick. Take a look at this. Place the sponge, instantly dries out. Now, these are wet sponges that we got from the Ocean Monument. Uh, to dry them out in the 1.15 update, just go into the nether and place these things down, and they will instantly dry out. No need to put them in a furnace to, you know, dry them out that way. That's a waste of fuel. Just do this, and there you go. Now, we actually don't need this whole stack. Eight should be way, way more than enough. So, we're going to go ahead and go back over into the overworld. I just needed to show you that life hack. It's pretty new. Uh, so, the squid farm. This is what it looks like from over here. I'm just now realizing at this point in the build that uh, this thing might be noisy because that guardian noise, it is loud. Now, I have this thing. I'll explain this in a minute, but basically, it's a boat elevator. And then we have this whole platform in here isolated from the lower water. The wall is good. Everything is smoothed out. And then I re-terraformed the land to make it look natural. I think it looks pretty good there. It's very flat over there, but in terms of like looking at it from the water, it looks pretty good, pretty natural. So now let's go ahead and drain the water from here, kind of. We technically don't need it all the way drained, but I... I guess let's actually just go ahead and drain it all the way. So, water's gone now. We can go ahead and take these sponges, and then we'll actually, uh, we actually need to put water back in here. But the water should only go along the back edge. So if we put a water source right there, that's going to flow all the way to the front. That is perfect. We can go ahead and grab another one and just spread this all the way along the back. So there we go. Water sources along the back just like that, and then... Uh, moment of truth. I, I think we could remove the dirt in here, but I, I, I hope nothing goes wrong. I don't see why anything would, but if we remove all of this dirt, the water will stay flowing, yeah? Aha! Uh -huh. Exactly. That's exactly what we want to happen. Oh, this is big. This is big. You see how the dirt or, or the items are just flowing right over to the front and then falling? down there uh that's exactly what we want so the dirt it's got to go it looks like this is all gonna work great that's amazing i was very unsure as to how this water would behave here i hope uh nothing could mess this up i know that we definitely can't remove these walls now they're gonna have to stay as is because if we remove those walls water will spill in and yep we'll basically have a big problem but it looks like all of these items are working and, and moving exactly like i thought which is really good and then we have squid that can swim through this farm which is also perfect this farm will be relying on the squid's ai a bit we basically need the squid to go and swim through here then the guardian will see the squid and uh, get rid of them but problem over here why is this stuff not going all the way up let's uh try and fix that maybe we could do some kelp in here all the way up to maybe there is that gonna fix that are those gonna fill in nope they are not okay so i guess i'm gonna have to go along the back wall and get the kelp in like to i guess we could technically go all the way up it wouldn't hurt anything all right <laughs> more kelp i definitely need to make sure all of the items float all the way up if they don't big problem but these items are perfectly dropped over here which is really really good news for us all right i think we're good i i, I think it, it's sort of hard to tell but i think we're good there so now we need to jump down here and make a funneling system so 
I think what we could do is one block and then two blocks just to be safe and basically put a water current at the bottom of this thing uh, at one side to move all of our items down towards the other end. To prevent us from having to make the water go down to continue it and make sure it reaches all the way to the other side, we can do a simple trick right here. We could do a sign on that disgusting block right there then we can swap that out for an ice block right there and then the items that fall into here should flow right across the ice uh yep perfect and then we can just repeat the whole thing so another water source and more signs and ice if we need then to make the collection for us nice and easy we'll have this water stream continue over to like maybe maybe right here that'll be fine then we'll place a bunch of temporary blocks in there and actually do a bunch of trap doors on the outside here so i think we start here and do trap doors these trap doors are going to hold the water that's outside of this thing outside without actually putting a full solid block right here where squid could actually get stuck and not swim into the farm we need the squid to swim into this farm so if we do trap doors squid getting stuck will be minimized but on the other side we can just do normal blocks doesn't really matter now we need to come back in here dig all of this out uh, all the way down to there then we go back up here uh, dump water right there and then kelp all the way up to create a bunch of water sources then we can turn this into a bubble column but before we do that we'll need to go ahead and do a chest right there and then a hopper going into that chest so we can pick up all of our items then we can do a little trick up here we'll put a water source right there all of the items will be moved up and then right over if we put a ceiling on this so trap door trap door ceiling is good everything else is good this should work so we'll go ahead and go in here get a soul sand in there and then we should be moved all the way up and that means the items will be too now jumping back down here we can go ahead and do just uh, another ice right there and then a sign there that'll be good and then i think we could just do maybe a trap door right there to hold the water back as well this gets filled in and uh, that should be perfect uh yeah that's perfect everything is gonna work if we put a sand right there that'll go and go all the way get in there be shot up and then we should have one single sand in here do we yes we do okay that is perfect so now i i think with that collection system in uh i'll come back and make the bottom of that thing look nice maybe we'll just do uh we'll just do even more smooth stone but we need to talk about getting the guardian on this thing now so we're gonna need to make a temporary floor over towards the middle of this farm so we can just do dirt that'll be fine then uh right in the center so uh, let's see i should probably count this we'll, we'll we'll find the exact center all right so small problem we have a two wide center so there is going to be no exact center spot not a big deal though doesn't really matter all that much but what we're gonna want to do is put a glass pane there then go i think block 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 like that and then place a trap door and close it just like that we'll go ahead and do that on each side of this glass pane here to basically hold the boat in the middle what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a guardian in a boat row it over here stop it right there get out and then we'll actually remove all of these blocks so the guardian can see a bunch and uh the guardian will live here and the trapdoors will hold the boat stop it from moving and i think everything should work then from the boat the guardian should be able to see all around it we're using a, a glass pane on the bottom of this thing because a glass pane is pretty tiny you know in terms of like a block when we get rid of that one it'll be tiny but it'll be enough to hold the boat then the trap doors shouldn't block very much view at all because uh, the squid won't be up in the air they'll be down under the water we might have a small problem if they're like straight out but that should be fine because the squid sort of tend to swim around anyway so we should be good there but uh the final trap door will have to wait until we get the guardian in here so now i i think if if i've thought about everything which i think i have we need to actually go ahead and um we need to go get a guardian which uh it's actually pretty easy it's actually easy okay so the plan here is lots and lots of boats so maybe that will be enough and by the way that looks really really weird from over here but we are actually uh, hey, hey 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 that was my bad uh we're, we're actually over here okay is it about to be nice okay hold on hold on <laughs> uh we're gonna we're gonna wait for the day time we'll do this on the day okay so uh we're we're gonna just break the bed i think we'll be good but 
The plan here is to get a Guardian into a boat and then sail that Guardian all the way back to our base. If the Guardian is in the boat with us, it actually won't be able to hit us. It's kind of weird. So, what we need to do is basically plant a bunch of boats out here and wait for a Guardian to swim into one. I don't think it'll take too long because, I mean, look at the Guardians. They swim up near the surface quite a bit. So, if we can just go ahead really quick here and drop a bunch of these things. Hey, Guardians, don't worry. It's me, your friend. I'm one of you. Hey, okay, okay, okay. We, we got to be careful. We definitely have to be careful. But if we can just plant a bunch of boats in here and then basically, I think, swim around or row back and forth, uh eventually a guardian should swim into one i think uh you, you see how they go so close up to the surface it should work so the real question here is what what's harder to get into a boat a guardian or a villager eh, oh boy you're getting very close to a boat you are okay 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 uh okay uh retreat <laughs> <laughs> now for the step uh, also don't forget a name tag you're going to need to name tag the guardian to just stop it from despawning so uh yeah just probably bring it with you but has any guardian swam into a boat yet no uh, uh, no it, it does not look like we have any sailing guardians okay well uh soon soon my friends soon one of you will swim with me and be a good friend forever Oh, you guys are getting so close, so close. If only you knew, if only you knew how close you were to a great life and never despawning. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Guardians. It's so close. Let's let's go. Oh, no way, no way, no way, no way. It happened, it happened. I was swimming away from, I think, you, who was trying to laser beam me, and oh, it happened. We have a Guardian in a boat, so... Now we need to get this Guardian all the way back home. You're coming with me, buddy. You are coming with me. We're going to save the name tag until we get closer just to be safe. But home is a long way this way. We also need to be very careful. We cannot hurt this Guardian. But you see what I mean? The Guardian it can't hit me. And I mean, w would you look at the thing? This is our newest friend. The eye, the look in the eye. That, that Guardian is definitely giving me the side eye. I don't know. I don't know, but uh, we have lots of sailing to do now. Uh, we, we're about midday. We should be able to make it home, I think, hopefully before nighttime and get this guardian in its place. But this boat is its its forever boat. This is its new home forever. So uh, I, th I think this is amazing. I, th I think the guardian likes the boat from the sounds. This is great. This is great. This is the final step of this farm. Amazing. So in the last stream, uh, we, we got a little sidetracked. We were raiding an ocean monument, collecting sponges, and then eventually the sidetrack happened. That sidetrack resulted in this canal right here. So, uh, before this video, in the stream, we actually built this thing. This is how we're going to go ahead and move this Guardian, the one with us, into our river, and then eventually into the Guardian farm. This build right here took a while, but it's actually not that bad. It's just a straight path with water at the bottom. Over here, a bubble column to go right up into the river, and, uh, we should, uh, be, be good if, if, uh, the Guardian cannot swim far away. A small mishap. It's okay, though. It's okay. Guardian, uh, you go into the boat. You, you, no, don't do this. Don't do this, Guardian. I need you. I need you to get in the boat with, with me. Get, get back in your boat. If this Guardian gets far away from me, it will despawn. And, of course, it's going to be nighttime right now. Guardian, I need you in the boat. You need to get in this boat right here don't stop with the zap stuff stop with the zap get back in the boat get in the boat um okay this is this is bad <laughs> okay that's exactly what i thought you're back in the boat this is good so we can go ahead and sleep and roll things over to the daytime small mishap there but basically what i was saying is i prepped everything so nothing could go wrong at all and we could move the guardian over here mm-hmm and, uh, yeah, definitely nothing went wrong. So, uh, yeah, you, you saw nothing. Now, the other thing is this area right here. We can just mine some blocks out. row right under this bridge. Not a problem. And then, uh, are we going to have issues over here at this thing? I don't think so. The boat won't go under the water this time. So, we row up. And we need to go up a little bit more. Uh, or do we? Um, okay. Uh, this is interesting. This is interesting. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. You're with me still. Okay. 
Let's see, if we get some speed here, can we be shot up or do I have to wait? Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. The, the boat jumps, I guess, when I'm not in it. Interesting, I don't know, but the Guardian gets rowed right over to here. Then we go ahead and get out and name tag you, Ian 2 you're looking good. Uh, stop with the zap stuff though, no, no zapping needed, stop it. Okay, we place the drive door like that, dig these blocks out, and Ian 2 should be good. You're you're in your forever home. The positioning is good. The beam is great. Now, basically, uh, oh, whoops. Uh, basically, we just need to wait for, I think, Squid to swim into this thing, and then it should work. Unfortunately, Ian could not wait, and Ian decided to get rid of all Squid that were over here before he even got into the position. Fair enough, Ian. Fair enough. You are going to be a good, good friend and a great employee. With the name tag on Ian, we should be good. I don't think Ian will ever despawn. Uh, Ian's strapped in a boat, so Ian can't get hurt. And again, the whole name tag thing, Ian should be good. So the squid farm itself should actually be finished, but I would uh, like Ian to stop it. That's what I thought, Ian. Uh, I'd like to move you over towards the middle a little bit more, if possible. We'll nudge you just like that, and uh, that's a lot better, Ian. Right in the middle of that thing, that's good. Now, I don't think the, the boat could ever move, but the trapdoors are really just to be safe. I would hate to log out of the, the game, come back in, and the boat is, is moved for some reason. I don't think it'll be a problem, though. So now, a uh, squid. Let's go ahead and run. Oh, we can hear it working, actually. Oh, it works. It's noisy. But that noise, that that's, that's the hunting noise. Okay. Okay. So I think it works, but that noise might be a, a bit of a problem. Do we have any ink sacks in here? Did it work all the way? No, it, it didn't. Um, Ian, what are you doing? Get the squid down there. Can you see that squid? Or is it too far? It might be too far. We might need to raise the bottom of the farm. It's hard to watch this thing. If I get anywhere near it, the guardian locks onto me instead. Uh, I think the squid is just too deep. Oh, no, no, it's not too deep. It's not too deep, okay, okay. Nice, it shoots it, the ink sack goes up, it gets moved over, and it drops down. And now there should be an ink sack right over here waiting for us. Let's go ahead and check. Ah, uh, yes, three, that is amazing. This works exactly as intended Elite Sand. I think we're gonna actually be good. It should work, but what I should probably do is make the wall on this front side a little bit taller so I could walk over to it and look. I think if we went maybe two blocks taller like that, we should be good. So, we'll, we'll make that a little bit taller. Mm, stop looking. Stop, stop, Ian. Ian, why do, you, why do you have to be so rude? Not a good friend. Bad friend. So, the glass wall is finished on this side. That's good. Now, Ian would never see us. Could never and won't shoot at us. But, uh, if we were to move around over here still, Ian might realize that we're here and get frustrated with that. But... I, uh, yeah, yeah, just like that. So maybe we go ahead and raise all of the walls up on all sides. It would only make us safer because Ian has a temper sometimes, but this should be good and the farm should actually work. But elites, that is the concept behind the squid farm. So what we're going to have to do is let this thing run while we're over in this area. In the next episode, we'll figure out a project that we can do near the base that will hopefully allow the squid farm to run. And then in a few episodes time, I will let you guys know if it's really worth building, if it's really worth it. I know for a fact this thing would be crazy, crazy great if we cut out all of this river in here, but I'm just really not willing to do that, at least not right now. But if we eliminated all of this water space out here, squid would only spawn in Ian's house, and that would make this very, very productive, I think. But uh, that is not the job for today. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing. If you think of something that could go wrong with this farm, let me know down in the comments below. Today, I'd like to send a big shout out to my patron, Alp Runner. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you all for watching. Links as always down below the video. Merch is too. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, elites. Stay fresh.